Hi everyone, welcome back to the question answer discussion session of Sedu Sets of Tutorials. So today's video is an extension of our previous video. That is the video number 39 of uh, question answer discussion session, where we have discussed about the different kinds of nematodes. Now, uh, these are the different nematodes we have discussed in that uh, previous video. And we've also discussed about the scientific name of each of these nematodes. So if you haven't watched that video, please do watch that uh, for a better understanding. And some of the comments uh, we had received uh, for the previous video contain suggestions for including the first line treatment for these worm infestations. We highly appreciate that suggestion and thought of addressing those suggestions through this video. So here we would discuss the drug of choice, the drug of choice, for uh, these nematode infestations. Um, now, uh, I have given the list of important uh, nematode as depicted here. Uh, roundworm, hookworm, whipworm, pinworm, threadworm, filarial worm, and gunia worm. Now remember, the first line treatment or the drug of choice for most of the nematode infestations, for most of the nematode infestation, include drugs from Benz imidazole category. Benz imidazole category. That is, the drugs coming under this Benz imidazole category is the drug of choice for most of the nematode infestations. Although there are some exceptions that I would uh, discuss in, the, in this video very shortly. Now, which are those drugs coming under this uh, Benz imidazole category? The drugs are thiabendazole. Mebendazole, albendazole. There are some more derivatives like triclab and bendazole and all that. So, but these are some of the important uh, benzimidazole uh, uh, derivatives which are used as an anthelminthic drug, especially for nematode infestations. And now out of this, thiabendazole was the first was the first benzimidazole and the helminthic drug. First, benzimidazole and helminthic drug. However, the drugs uh, developed later on, uh, such as mebendazole and albendazole, were more effective, uh, more effective compared to thiabendazole. Therefore, thiabendazole is uh, no longer used nowadays. Whereas, uh, mebendazole and albendazole, these are the two benzimidazole drugs which are more preferred drugs. Now, the problem with this uh, benzimidazole derivative drugs, the problem with this uh, thiabendazole, mebendazole, albendazole is that they undergo a very high first pass metabolism. First pass metabolism. So all these drugs undergo a very uh, high first pass metabolism. And due to this first pass metabolism, these drugs would become inactive. All these drugs would become inactive except except albendazole. That means this albendazole, although even if it undergoes phosphorus metabolism, it would be converted to an active metabolite called as albendazole sulfoxide. So albendazole also will undergo phosphorus metabolism. However, it will be converted to albendazole sulfoxide, which is an active metabolite. Whereas mebendazole, if, if it undergoes a first pass metabolism, it will be converted to an inactive metabolite. It will be converted to an inactive metabolite. Uh, uh, Thiabendazole also would be converted to an inactive metabolite. However, albendazole will be converted to an active metabolite. And due to these uh, reasons, uh, albendazole, uh, and this uh, one more thing, this albendazole sulfoxide will be having a very high tissue distribution, very high tissue di distribution. Also, it is an active metabolite of albendazole. So therefore, the most effective benzimidazole, the, therefore the most effective benzimidazole derivative against this uh, um, uh, helminth infestations are albendazole. Okay. Now, in the case of uh, roundworm, hookworm, uh, whipworm, and pinworm, the drug of choice or the first line drug is albendazole. 
So in all these uh, roundworm, hookworm, whipworm, pinworm, the drug of first line treatment or the drug of choice is albendazole. However, uh, mebendazole can be used as an alternative drug. But in the case of threadworm, it is not the benzimidazole drug. It is not the benzimidazole drug. Here, the drug of choice is a semi-synthetic drug called as ivermectin. So the drug of choice for threadworm is ivermectin. Now coming to the filarial worm, the drug of choice is a diethyl, diethyl carbamazin, diethyl carbamazin citrate. In short, it is called as DEC. DECC, diethyl carbamazine citrate is the uh, drug of choice for filarial worm. In fact, this was the first drug. Uh, this was the first drug for filariasis uh, caused by Westeria bancrofti and in fact, the drug of choice too. Now coming to the last nematode, that is the gunia worm. Here, the drug of choice is a metronidazole. Here, the drug of choice is metronidazole. You also know that this drug is a potent or a powerful anti amoeba drug. And that is a metronidazole is also the drug of choice for gunia worm. So the drug of choice for roundworm, hookworm, whipworm, and pinworm is uh, the benzimidazole drug called as albendazole. Whereas in the case of threadworm, it is ivermectin. In the case of filarial worm, it is a DECC, which is diethyl carbamazine citrate. And in the case of um, gunia worm, the drug of choice is uh, metronidazole. And remember, this kind of question uh, would also be asked uh, in the name of the scientific name, like uh, which is the drug of choice for uh, stronchyloid stercoralis? Which is the drug of choice for stronchyloid stercoralis? So you should know stronchyloid stercoralis is the scientific name of threadworm and the drug of choice is ivermectin and drug of choice is ivermectin. Similarly, the scientific names of uh, all these worms, you should try, you try to remember uh, all the scientific names of uh, these worms, which is given in the previous video. So that's all for today's discussion. Uh, discussion and I hope you en uh, enjoyed this video. Also, if you want us to make uh, any video of uh, videos of your interest, uh, please do write your suggestions in the comment box. And we would be quite happy uh, to address your comments in the upcoming videos. So thanks for supporting us and please share with your friends and keep on watching our videos. And if you're watching it for the first time, please do subscribe to our channel, Sedu Setsevi Tutorials and click the bell icon for daily updates and meet you again with a new video. Stay safe. Bye-bye.